Pro Tools 7.3 offers some new features when it comes to working with audio loops. I've just finished recording some electric piano in this session and I want to add some loops in the verse. The first to love. And also in the chorus. Here it comes now. Hello, goodbye. The first thing I'll do is call up some stereo tracks using my memory locators. I've got one here and here. I'll mute the lead vocal and switch on dynamic transport from the options menu and I'll cycle around the verse. I want the play start marker to begin playback at bar 20. In Workspace, we have a few new options for auditioning files. Let me show you them. There's loop preview that's already turned on and auto preview that will start the preview the moment you click on a file in the actual Workspace window. Also, the spacebar can now be dedicated to stopping and starting the preview of files in Workspace. Let me just Command or Alt click the speaker to turn off Auto Preview. Now I can highlight the file and hit spacebar to hear the preview. If you need to start the transport in Pro Tools, you can use the New Preference in the Operations tab, use separate play and stop keys. Now spacebar will start the preview. Enter will start Pro Tools and Zero will stop the transport. So I'm going to take the hat loop, drag that in, drop it at bar 14. I'm going to take the kicker loop 2 and drop that one at bar 18. Now this is where you'll really appreciate the separate play start marker in the dynamic transport. I don't have to wait from bar 14 just to hear what the loop sounds like as we cycle around. So I've got the new loop tool. I'm going to extend this region to the beginning of the chorus for a total of four bars. You can also click and drag the loop icon in the bottom right corner of the region to change the length of the loop. So after undoing that, I'll extend my first loop all the way to the end of verse 1. I need a nice pause before the chorus, so I'll just make a one bar selection and delete the unused loops. Now I'll just Option or Alt drag the first loop over to the chorus section and I'll extend the tail end with the loop tool so it runs the entire length of the chorus.